Hey, what's going on, family? Hey, family. How y'all doing out there? Well, we just want to drop this video about telling y'all some things that we've picked up along the way as far as um, what we've learned uh, while building in Ghana. But first of all, I want to say thank you to all of our subscribers. So we reached the, reached the uh, 2K. Oh. I really appreciate it um, that you guys subscribe, you like, you comment. And so I like the interaction with the comments. And so we're very grateful that we've reached 2K and it's all because of you guys. Yeah, and we're loving the feedback. So we appreciate that. Y'all continue to like, share, uh, subscribe to this channel. And, you know, let's put the word out there. Let's reach as many yeah. people as we can. Let's make it grow. Let's make it grow. We're trying to grow the community. All right. So this video is about what we've learned. So we have some notes, so we have to keep looking at our phones. So do. Yeah, and they're not in any particular order. It's just random things. And I'm quite sure there's more, but just a little bit of things that, that we feel that um, you should know or um, that we researched. So anyway, um, number one is research your desired location. Um, whether it's beachfront property, in the mountains, in a rural area, the countryside, or a more developed area. So research right. the area first. Um, decide on what you want, where you want to move to or where you want to relocate to. So it could be a beachfront, near the water, um, on the countryside, um, in a developed area or undeveloped area, um, or what did I say? in the mountains. So um, these are things that, you know, you should know before you even, yeah. you know. Just, just like going in, or it depends on where you want to live yeah. pretty much. And that's where you plan your visit. You plan your visit based on your findings. Um, so you found your place that you would like to reside um, or rent or visit. Um, and then you look for a person um, that sells the land, whether it's a realtor, a YouTuber, um, an attorney that specializes in that area. Um, a lot of YouTubers say they sell land, but it's always like a middle person. Um, the family is selling the land, whoever owns the property or whatever, but, yeah. um, or the company that purchased the land from the family is selling the land. So... You know, a lot of YouTubers say they're selling land, yeah. but I guess, you know, in a word, I guess it's true. Yeah, they are. They, yeah, they, they're selling they land. And we know people um, that sell land in Cape Coast. We know people that sell land in uh, Abri Abri Mountains. Mm -hmm. um, and we know people that sell land in Shaw Hills. Right. So if you want to um, visit those areas or look or get, you know, referred to those people, um, you can email us. Um, our email should be on the screen somewhere soon, and then we'll tell you the contact person, and then you yeah. can contact them and um, decide, you know. Yes. So we're not into it just selling land and, you know, trying to make money like that. If you don't want to live in Shy Hills, then we know other places that, you know, are great places for you to live. Right. And we'll put you in contact with those people. Right. So it don't have to be Shy Hills. Right. Um, let's see. Although we'd love for you to be our neighbor, though. Right. <laughs> uh, there are 10 steps in order to get your land completely registered. Yeah, to get the full title, certificate, or whatever they call it. Right. And these are 10 steps. I will be putting them on the screen. So, first step. Well, first of all, they don't tell you. Some people don't even tell you that all these steps that you need to take to get your land registered. Yeah. First of all, because... The person we bought the land from did not tell us that no. it, there were all of these steps. So um, we found out. You find out because yeah, along the way, along the way, you yeah. just you have to do stuff. You have to make mistakes in order to figure out yeah. what the right way to do it. Um, so and, and they say once you get your land registered, that's it. But it goes further than getting your land registered. Yeah, they, all they say is, oh, you're gonna get your indentures. Well, anybody can draw up some indentures. Exactly. So after the indentures, don't think that that's it. It's not over with. So it's far from over. Right, right. So um, 
you do have to do some other stuff. And let's see, let's do the countdown of the steps. So number one is the barcode site plan. Yeah, so first they give you their indentures and say that's it. You know, as far as you having the indentures, but you got, you have to get that barcode done. Yeah, and, and, it, and every know. every step is a fee. Right. Every step is a fee. Yeah, it's a fee for everything. So the barcode site plan, number two, the stamp duty. Now we can't go into detail of all these things because this, this is the list that the Lands Commission people gave to us. Yeah. So we actually went to the Lands Commission um, and spoke to someone, sat down and spoke to someone. Right. Now, when they said it was 10 steps, we were just taken back. We're like, why weren't we told this? Like, my thing is be transparent. Right. If you want somebody to trust you, you have to be, be transparent. transparent. That's right. It, it's just like, why didn't you just say that to begin with? Right. I mean, I, I have no idea. But anyway, you're, you you already deep in it. So you got to go for it. You purchase the land now, yeah. so. It's like, okay. So don't think that the, the, the indentures is, ooh, I got land. No. Yeah, you got to go a little deeper. Yeah. So after the stamp duty, then you, it's the registration. Then uh, number four is something called PVLMD. Yeah. yeah, it's like three searches that you have to get done yeah. after you get your land registered. Cause a lot of people probably stop at registration and yeah. say, okay, I got my land registered. Right. But the fourth step is that when you have to do three separate searches and I have those searches on the screen somewhere. Yeah. Um, that's step four. Yeah. So. Step five is cadastral. Is that the, that's how you pronounce it? Yeah. Plan. Yeah. yeah. If anybody know what that is, just kind of put that in the comments. C yeah. Cadastral plan, something that you have to get done as well. Yeah, number six is publication in the daily newspaper. Yeah, we didn't know you had to do that. You know, yeah. we didn't know we had to publicize that we purchased the land right. somewhere. Number seven is land certificate. Number eight is plotting. Number nine is binding. Number 10 is collection of the land certificate. So you have to go through all those steps and then you can get your land certificate or the title or whatever they call it. Now it's fully yours right after those steps so that's right. something that we learned along the way yeah and it takes a it takes a while but yeah. you know you just do it as you you go along um but those are the, the 10 the 10 steps um now go, adding to that before you purchase land and you want to say you want to buy land in um cape coast so you can actually talk to the person that's actually selling the land, ask them to give you the indentures of that person that's selling the land, get their indentures so you you can search. Right. Do the, yeah. do the search to make sure that that's legit, like it actually belongs to that person. Right. Before you give them money to purchase the land. Right. So if a company purchased the land, you know, five, six, 700 acres and they purchase the land and they give you and you get your indentures, well, ask them for, you know, their indentures that they purchased the 700, right. 800, whatever uh, acres. Right. So you get their indentures and now you can do the search. Yeah, do you search your on, on your exactly. own. So you take that to the Lands Commission to, so you can verify, clarify, do all the stuff that you right. want. So make sure you do your research, your due diligence and everything. And again, um, you have to be your own attorney. <laughs> um, you, you have to be everything. You have to do your own research. Right. Um, and just keep on doing your research. You'll find out, you keep on digging, you'll find out more things or whatever. But that's how you just gain knowledge. You just keep, you just keep, you know, researching and researching because right. it's, it's always another step or another answer or a deeper right. answer or something. And that's life period. Right. You yeah. Know. yeah, just in general. So... All right, let me see. Um, do, 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 do. All right, and then... So, so in the U.S., <laughs> so in the U.S., we are just spoiled um, as far as real estate is concerned. Um, we have a realtor. We trust the realtor. The real, realtor goes find a house for you or sells your house. We have all kinds of laws protecting us. 
So we really, they go to school for this. They know what they're doing. They, they're certified um, and everything. They go to lawyers to do the closing. So everything is just so, you know. Right. It's in order. It's in order. It's in order. It's organized. And it's just not like that yet with Ghana. I mean, I guess they have some, but it's really lawless. It's like anybody can do anything yeah. at any time, anywhere. Um, you don't know who's who. You don't know if anybody went to school for this. So you can't verify. Right. You so you don't want to sell that. land. You don't have to like go to school for it or anything. Yeah. So, I mean, or get any kind of training. Yeah. It's not like you can... You can say, okay, let me see. You're a realtor. Let me look up your license. I and mean, you go on your license. You do, you know, you could do that here, but you really can't. Right. You can, you, anybody can sell land, like anybody. Right. So, you know, just be careful, you know, and be mindful and ask questions. And if exactly. they, if they have a problem with you asking questions, you already know that's a red flag. That's a red flag. It's a red yeah. flag. And it's just like, you know, um, they want to do everything quick. They want to exchange the money transactions quick. Right. So you can just be like, pump your brakes, slow down, calm down, and let me do what I need to do before you get got. Because if you start, you working too fast, or you working on their, you know, they want to do it too fast, then you're going to get got. Yeah. And that's just it. You're going to get got. So. Uh, you know, you're excited to have, to have yeah. property in the motherland, but hey, slow down a little <laughs> yeah, bit. Yeah, pump just your brakes because it's, you really need to be here right like your mentality don't don't let your street smart go dead when you get there like have your head on a swivel you know hard right. be alert uh and alert with people that are from the diaspora there too exactly um i, I mean they've been there long enough mm -hmm. to um learn everything so you know in other videos we've heard that you know they're doing the same, the same thing. Same thing. So, let's see. The interior, when you buy your land, the interior road, the roads, you know, like when you buy your land and you are surrounded by a road, make sure that the person that you're purchasing the land from can explain to you that, okay, this road, uh is an interior road and then what this road say it's the, is it's land, government is, is government, government road. Act, yeah so it's government access so what that really means is if it's owned by the government you know the government ain't doing nothing they're okay? not gonna fix they're not the roads you know pave the road or do anything fix the road make it drivable or anything so if you purchase land where the road is a government land just know that it's your responsibility or collectively, as people move in to right. our building, you guys have to, you know, um, create that um, road yourself. To be drivable because... Yeah. And then know. the interior road, um, sometimes the, the person, the developer, will make sure that those roads are, are, Accessible. are done. Yeah. Right? So, when we bought land, we didn't know. First of all, we didn't even know it was even a question to ask. Right. And my thing is, like I said, be transparent when you are purchasing land or you are selling land. Yeah. You know, when you're selling land, be transparent because we don't know. We we buying land. We we buy houses here. The road is already done. Right. <laughs> why why should we ask about the road? But if you are in a developing country, I guess, you know, that's something that we found yeah. out that we didn't know. So now the road in front of our house is government. And guess what? In order for our, the drop the drivers that come in the trucks that come in to build it we had to um buy all this stuff yeah because during rainy season that yeah. road just got flooded out so yeah. i mean we had to take the responsibility on ourselves to make sure the roads was done the road was done in front of our house just yeah. so the trucks could get in and out right but the interior roads were done interior roads are on both sides of our property but not in front right so we had to do the front part just so they can come up the interior road and then turn down and um right and, and that's the extra cost i mean come on now yeah we didn't expect that cost like okay we got to do the road what yeah. we didn't expect that cost. but if you want to get your house built and yeah just know that that's something that you have to do yeah yeah um, clarify yeah and verify that yeah. it's in the interior or it's on the main road right and ask the questions it's like what, what yeah. they're gonna say Yes or no? Exactly. 
that's it so again that gets, so just just don't trust nobody <laughs> just you know trust them as far as you can see them exactly you know as your grandma used to say Cru don't trust them as you know don't trust nobody fully mm -hmm. trust as far as i can throw you that's what yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so you gotta trust to get things yeah. done you gotta trust to live in this world but just be mindful and be cautious of people's words, their body language, because um, sometimes they just don't have good intentions, and that's not everybody. But just know that, just know the clues to look out for. Right. And we all grown. We already know. We we already know we're not dumb. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Don't drink that that water. No, that's the sachet water. That's, that's in the bag. Oh no no no. Well, yeah. We were told not to drink it, but we just letting you know, please don't. Just drink your bottled water if you're not from there because our system's not built for that. So, mm -hmm. you know, they said that you'll get real sick. So that's just eating all for, for that. Don't don't drink it. Don't be brave and drink it because you, yeah, something might now, happen. Now, who, um, if, you're in the, if you were from the, if you were diaspora from the U.S., U.K., or whatever, put in the comments if you've been there long enough to ingest that uh, sachet water. Y'all drink that sachet water? Yeah, and also, yeah, like if you've been there for a while, can you yeah. can you drink it ever? Yeah, how long does it take for your body to, like for you to be there to be able to just drink that water? Right. Like, are y'all drinking that water? Or are you just not chancing it yeah. at all? Let us know. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, But I have a problem with just like drinking out of a bag, like. Yeah, you I, just. I, I don't know if I can do and that. I, don't, I, I will, Yeah. but I don't know if I'm, I'm there yet. Yeah. I don't even like drinking out of a bottle. That my mama told me don't do that. Don't do that. But <laughs> uh let's see. You try to detox before you go. So we usually try to detox a month before we go. Yeah. Um and when I mean detox, I mean like you know, we just didn't eat any meat, which we really don't anyway, chicken and fish, but we just didn't eat any of that. It was right. just like, clean your system out, you know, um, and boost up your immune system. Now, so, although we heard that the chicken in the U.S. is not like the chicken in Ghana, so. Yeah. The food know, is better there. Yeah, food is actually better, but. Um, um, but yeah, it's like detox, because if you, if you like wilding out and eating McDonald's and Burger King, all kinds of Chinese food, all kinds of junk you're throwing in your body already. When you get to Ghana, trust and believe you're gonna be sick. Yeah, watch out for that plastic rice. Like, yeah, you, you know, you, you're going to be sick because once you get there and you start eating their food, it's it's gonna be rejecting yeah. you. It's right. gonna be rejecting. So your body is gonna detox while you're there. Yeah, I just detox before, and then you know, take your malaria pills if you want to. If you don't want to. That's fine, but I, I didn't get bit by mosquitoes or whatever, and we really didn't get um, sick. And if you want to, like naturally, um, the papaya um, fruit, the seeds is a natural detox as well. So I would suggest if you want to get there, get a pawpaw, uh, um, the, um, what is it? I just said it. The papaya? The papaya. The papaya plant and eat the seeds swallow them don't chew them just swallow them what what that does is that um when it goes down into your system if you have any any parasite it's gonna uh, uh latch on to the papaya seeds and come right on out of your system i would drink um neem tea at least once a day and you can get that that's organically grown right in the you can get bush. that everywhere walking down the you street you know get one leaf or two leaves put it in some hot water drink that or either just take the leaf and put it in your bottled water so you know your immune system is you know being restored boosting or whatever and then take like a mango leaf do the same thing take um the moringa tree right. they're all over the place so just take that get you some tea and just make sure that you are always hydrated keep yourself hydrated um okay i, I lost count of the numbers but <laughs> don't mind me <laughs> okay <laughs> all right so pack your patience okay because yeah they they do things like like yeah. nothing matters right they're not in a hurry like, yeah, like no hurry and that's where i want to be i want to be like that yeah, i want to be yeah. like I, I don't have nothing to do yeah. and guess what and i don't want to do nothing right 
How about that? I don't want to get up and yeah. have to look at the time and, you know, what time do I have to be at work? You know, driving through that traffic, um, how long it's going to take me to get to work. I just want to get up and whenever I get up and yeah. go whenever I want to go. It's right. just, you know, I, I want that. So we definitely going to pack yeah. our patience. Pack your patience. Um, stuff just takes longer. And yeah. just don't get a, don't just get mad about it. It's just, that's how they live. Right. And they just live life. They yeah, are so living. You, so don't think you can be like, okay, when I get there in the same day, I'm going to go see my land. Yeah. I'm going to go to the lands commission. I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to go, nah, bruh. It, it ain't going to work like that. Nope. So pack your patience. Yep. Learn how to negotiate. Yeah. You know, nothing, nothing is the real price. Okay. So if somebody say that it's a hundred CDs, just be like, oh, I'll give you 50. Right. You negotiate. Know? Just go half. That's or, what we've or, been told. Or just, you know, just keep on going down, going down. They love it. They like to do it. You That's know, that's what they do. I, 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 I don't personally like to do it, but I will. But um, if I really want it, now, if I don't want it, I, I learn how to say, I don't need it. I just walk away. Thank you. Right. Thank you. But I said, pa, I don't need it. Right. But um, if you ne you a negotiator, you know, just learn how to negotiate because, you know, yeah. they, they, they like that. The price is not the price. With, you know. Yeah. Unless you go to like Malcolm or something like that, then that's the price. But if you're going to the markets or whatever, you know. You can always you can always get a deal, you know? Just just be like this. Right, right. Just talk, 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 talk. And be, you know, be respectful. Let's see. There's no AC in the Ubers. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what? Bring your towel because you're going to be wiped and sweat, you know? Because we're sweating because we're not used to the heat. Right. They're not sweating. Yeah. I don't see nobody out there sweating. Yeah. I just want to know I see why. people like with hoodies on and walking around and long sleeve shirts i'm like man, how y'all doing that yeah why you got that sweater on yeah <laughs> it's chilly it's like 120 what? degrees out here like why <laughs> why are you chilly yeah but, but hey all right yeah um and there's not i haven't seen a public restroom i haven't even used like you know how we can just go to um the gas station and there's a public restroom that's clean you know pretty decent yeah. you can go in or whatever so you, or, can, you can run in and stop yeah. a quick trip go or to the bathroom yeah you know whatever no. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't. We did see people using the restroom, but mm, yeah, not really a public restroom. Carry your baby wipes just in case. Yeah. Um, pack a bag like you're going camping, like almost like you're going camping. Yeah. Just make sure you have your own toilet tissue, your own baby wipes, or whatever, your own towel to patch up. Just make sure that you, your water. Don't go like you're, like, like you're going like to the grocery store here. Right. Um, Cause you're gonna come right back. You don't know when you're coming back. Yeah. See? <laughs> you don't know when you're coming back. You don't know when you're coming back. You're gonna leave and be like, it'll take you yeah. so long to get there, and then when you get there, you just get caught up. Right. It ain't so, like, oh, I'm gonna run to Kroger right quick. I'll be right back. Nah. You better take some water with you. Some snacks. Right. And then the snacks. With oh the yeah. People, oh, you, you buy some on the way. They all the people that sell the um, the snacks and stuff, or you can get anything like driving on the street. That's just amazing how they are just walking between the traffic, almost killing themselves. Like they are brave souls. Right. So you can get snacks, you can get plantain chips. Oh, I love to get the plantain. I want the salted ones. And you can I buy luggage. The, you can buy yeah. pets. You can buy <laughs> you can all buy, on the street. All, all on the all street. driving home. You can buy all of this um, driving home. You you forgot some toilet tissue? Guess what? He yeah. got it. Yeah, he got it. Oh, your windshield wiper broke? Oh, guess what? They fixing it right there while you in traffic. Oh, yeah. All of it. And they gonna run with you. Yeah. Look, we'll get it done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. So, that's funny. They're creative. They're entrepreneurs. And they make money. We love it. Well, I love it. Yeah. So, let's see. Um. So, I think that's about it. About, you know, what we've learned or whatever. But we want to give you an update on our build. It's coming along so nicely yeah and we got know. some videos coming real yeah. soon so make sure y'all stay tuned and check those out yeah. but we are very pleased mr bright is doing a, an amazing job yep all right bnc construction and we appreciate that yeah so if you are buying land or if you already purchased your land we do recommend um bright and clara uh construction bnc construction and we'll have his you know information at the bottom of the screen or whatever but um seriously he's very transparent he's he suggests things you know our first contractor the person that sold us the land was the contractor so there's no 
there's no there's comparison is just night right and there's really no comparison yeah, it's with no that comparison. it's like there's no comparison i sleep down i i don't i can do all everything that i want to do here and not worry about what's anything. going on what's with going the house on, going you on know, are they working today what are they doing right am i gonna get a video that yeah, i can understand like mr bright explains everything because he's educated about the process right he knows what he's talking about right. in detail all the the artisans send him video of what they're doing right and then we all get the video all at the same time and he's teaching us yeah about okay this is what you need when you're building this you know this is the board that you need for this right. these are the size um iron rods you need for this right and, I mean, he's teaching us along the way. Right. This is why you do this. Exactly. We're not asking a lot of questions, but he's providing them regardless of if we want to know or not. Exactly. And that's what you want. You know, um, it's not where you live. It's not the U.S., but you do want somebody that's going to give you that feel, that comfort. Right. Um, that my money is in good hands. Exactly. And um, I'm not going to catch an attitude with the person i'm going to you know they're going to be straightforward with me they're going to suggest things they're going to suggest a, a um don't go for you know go for quality not not for if, if it's cheap or not you right know, we don't want cheap and we don't know if you doing anything cheap or not once we give you the money we don't know if you going it that's why i said when we, we we did the contract with the first contractor okay is this high end or low is this a high end or is this the low end? Right. Oh, it's high. It's the high end. It's the best of the best of the best of the best, 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 best. Right. Okay, so why you make so many damn mistakes? Why? Why you make so many mistakes, though? Yeah. And why you put wah wah board as a ceiling when it's supposed to be plywood? Yeah, exactly. It's so many mistakes. Because the wah wah board is going to make it real bumpy. It's going to be hard to uh, plaster under that wah wah board. So. They use plywood to make it smooth. Plywood and then the DPM to protect the right. um, to protect the wood. Yeah. Because they're gonna reuse the wood, so they're gonna protect it. That that was something that we learned from yeah. Mr. Bright, but we didn't get taught that from our other contract. Right. But it's okay. It's it's over. It's over. You know. Yeah. But our last visit there. Um, uh let's see we 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 just was walking around the premises or whatever and uh we we didn't know um the borehole pump was stolen yeah was missing it was missing, it was missing. now when we walked around the property like i said we didn't we saw where they drill for um for the borehole right and so we, we showed had, you that video yeah we showed the video where they was drilling so we didn't paying attention to it until we switched contractors and the contractor switched like one day it was old contractor the very next day mr bright started the very next day so mr bright people got to the the artisans got there and they was like okay we need the borehole pump so we can start work you know we need the water and we was like it's there and he was like no it's not there so we contacted our contractor and they said it's there so i was like no, Mr. Bright said it's not there, so it's not there. So we went going through we were going back and forth. I'm calling the the owner and the another person and then we're calling the uh the foreman that was on site. And then the foreman finally said to the owner that someone stole the borehole pump four months ago. We didn't get no word of that. We got no notice. And so we asked the contract, like, why didn't y'all tell us that someone stole the um, borehole pump? Because you were constantly working. You needed water. You were, you were there every Sunday to check, you know, to check the area. Yeah. And they didn't tell you that someone stole the pump. They actually was using water from our neighbor's borehole. Right. Not ours. So. We had to be like Inspector Gadget. So yeah. what we did was we, we knew the borehole was installed. Um. And they said that they were using our water, but when we found out that the borehole was not, the borehole pump wasn't there, we just was like, "What the hell? What's okay. going on?" 
we actually had to rewind all our footage and then we noticed we saw a hose from our from the neighbor's property to our property and that's where they was getting the water, water from. Problem. So they didn't tell they didn't tell us anything. Right. They didn't tell, you know, the contractor's wife anything. Then the long story short, they told the husband. Yeah, the informant said I text you know the the oh, owner right. and told him that someone stole the borehole pump the owner said he never received the text or he couldn't find the text because i said send us the text someone screenshot the text and send it to us that it was stolen four months ago nobody had that text so we said um show us a video of where the borehole pump was installed and that you actually used it no video no surface. Video they surface. had no video of them using the borehole pump. It was pump. lie after lie. Yeah. So we were like, well, what happened to the pump? After lie. They were like, well, we drilled the borehole and we put the pump in there. I said, I saw the video where you drilled the borehole, but where's the pump? We, you never said, you never showed a video where the pump is. So things and, like that will happen, or we just let, let you know. So yeah. whether it was, they try to say, oh, it was, the, it was the people in the area, it was the village people, or it was the... Um, the people it could be anybody could have been, been anybody. anybody like we don't know oh, but was, you were there at the property yeah. you would know and you think you're paying for security for your yeah. for your property oh no um that your you know, your it didn't cover it security, didn't cover security for, for for the borehole ball, ball pump it's like what oh my gosh just lies yeah. just so we lies. had to end up getting another pump another pump and when we saw the installation we was like wait a minute someone stole the borehole pump like they actually loosen up everything and pull this whole Hole. pump with the holes and everything out somebody gonna steal that okay really? somebody might have stole it what y'all think i don't know yeah y'all let us know did somebody <laughs> steal the pump or, or was it never installed right did they even install the yeah. pump and, or and things like that this is what i'm saying and then yeah. let us know who's responsible yeah should we just eat that cost and say okay somebody stole it we got another one we just have to eat that cost or should the contractor to the previous contractor be responsible for that pump and this is what we're saying it's lawless it's lawless it's so. Law. so you know you it's like you gotta you, you try to be nice and then it's like oh yeah yeah that we <laughs> so we've moved pat we moved on yeah we had to go past we it. had to go past it because you would you would stick you would stay there and then yeah. you just lose your mind so yeah. But y'all let us know who's responsible for that borehole pump. Should we eat the cost and it's done? Move on. You know, it's like uh just forget it. Yeah. Or should we just con you know keep contacting the the previous contract and say, look, we need something on this, yeah. you know? They ain't gonna do nothing. Cause they ain't about nothing. Yeah. So but they not gonna do nothing. So But yeah, answer the answer, you know, let us know what y'all think about that. Yeah. All right, so So we'll be we just wanted to update you guys and come on because you know we try to be as transparent as possible, as possible. you know um that's it that's, <laughs> so we appreciate y'all watching the video yeah. and, and, and and checking in with so, us yeah so hopefully we'll have some video footage to show you guys soon about what they have done um thus far with the property we love it i mean oh yeah absolutely oh my gosh it is is a transformation it's a transformation definitely and what mr bright does too is he knows people are in trouble with contractors so reach out to him if yeah. you have any if you need help if your contract is yeah. not responding to you or you telling them to do one thing and they're doing something else hey you might want to just stop your project contact mr bright just see if he can bail you out before you know right. before it's too late right and you know the saying you get what you pay for well, that wasn't true here because we gave them a lot of money. Yeah. And we didn't get who was paid. Didn't, you know, didn't we, we didn't. Uh, they just said, oh, we got a building. Really? That's your answer? You you have your building? Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, and then, you know, Mr. Bright had to go in and fix a lot of mistakes that were made. So. Yeah. But we're good. I'm happy now. Yeah. We're happy. We're good now, family. I'm happy, yo. No worries. Yep. No worries. Um... Yeah, and I, I'm sleeping. Yep. All right, family, we're going to just wrap it up right there. Right. Appreciate y'all staying so with us. Don't let nobody, you know, break you down. You're going to keep pushing. 
build your house. Right. Uh, move to Ghana or wherever you want in the continent. Yeah, cause... reach out to us because we're in this together. Yeah, we're so in this together. So we already is emotional with the idea of going so far away from family. We don't need any other extra added stress. Right. And we just didn't think that we were going to get that much stress um, from somebody that was. That's a diaspora. Yeah, that's diaspora. That, that's all. You know, we just. We just thought that we were going to... Right. Because um, you knew what we deal with in the U.S. Right. And you're from the U.S. And you can't relate. I don't want to talk about them no more. <laughs> That's it. That's All right, y'all. We're going to move That's on it. from that. That's it. Oh, All right. We're done. We That's good. We good. Yeah. We good. Do your thing. Good luck. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Because we got Mr. Bright. That's right. He got our back. He got our side. He got our front. And... um nothing is perfect and we already know that but you know there is something special in his whole operation yeah in his whole operation yep so thank you for watching to the end i hope oh, you yeah. learned something um share with your friends with your family if you yeah. want to come to ghana you have any questions if we could answer any of yeah. them yeah definitely know. reach out the email is on the screen y'all just yeah. holler at us let us you know just Say what's up. Yep. All right. All right. Until the next time. We appreciate we your family. We are Black Love Gone. Black Love Gone. We out. Mm -hmm.